I was about to go to bed, but then I saw your comment, my friend. Now, I don't think you mean anything ill by this, but surgical steel does not exist. That is a made-up marketing term, okay? Surgical steel is not a real thing. Now, surgical tools are made out of 316L steel, and 316L steel is commonly referred to as surgical steel, but all steel contains a minimum of 3.5 to 5% nickel when it is considered 316L steel. Now, this is a very high-grade steel, but it still contains nickel, and it will absolutely react with your skin, if especially if you suffer contact dermatitis, a fancy way of saying sensitive skin. Like if you break out with different makeups or different uh, body washes or clothing detergents, you really want to stay away from 316L or surgical steel. Uh, what you want to look for in a quality piece of jewelry is either ASTMF-136 titanium or niobium jewelry. Both of those are completely hypoallergenic, and they are the only two metals that are. So here's some extra fun for, facts for you. Gold is not hypoallergenic, not in any way, shape, form, or fashion, and some people do have severe allergic reactions. The purer it is, the worse the reaction. In some cases, or I should say in all cases, silver is not in any way, shape, form, or fashion hypoallergenic either. Silver will tarnish with the moisture that is in the air. That's why your grandma would drag it out once a year, usually right before Thanksgiving, and polish the crap out of that shit. It, when it absorbs the moisture from inside your skin, that pretty silver... God, it tarnishes so bad, and it turns black, like that. And it really does some nasty stuff when it oxidizes in the skin. So we don't want to use any of that kind of stuff. Stick with quality titanium or niobium jewelry, but no, no steel, okay? None of that stuff is actually hypoallergenic in any way. And if it didn't have nickel in it, it wouldn't be steel. It would literally just break apart in your hand like a piece of charcoal. It would be just garbage. Anyway, I hope this is helpful information to y'all. Peace out. Catch you later. And uh, good night.